Good afternoon, everyone. Let me begin by introducing myself. I am Ira Makios from Department of Business Administration. I think the biggest innovations of the 21st century will be at the intersection of biology and technology. A new era is beginning. With those words, Steve Jobs emphasized the importance of harmony between nature and technology. When we look around, we can see that every single living organism has solutions to survive. From the beginning, the ones who didn't adapt to nature cannot live anymore. So, since every organism that lives in today has solutions for the challenges of life, there is no reason not to take inspiration from them. And this is possible with biomimicry. Now, I will give you a brief information about biomimicry and then I will explain the two advantages of it. Biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature. In other words, it helps to create nature-inspired solutions for a health planet. There are two main advantages for our world. First one is that it saves energy. Second one is that it's sustainable. Now let me start by explaining the saving energy. Most people wouldn't be able to live their everyday lives without energy. While we are facing problems about energy, nature itself provides us amazing examples of planet-friendly and safer ways for saving energy. Life tends to organize extremely energy-efficient designs and systems. These designs and systems should be copied by humans for efficiency. Greater efficiency means cost savings and greater profitability. At this point, it's possible to provide examples about saving energy through biomimicry. This train is Shinkansen bullet train and it's a great example of engineering. Or maybe I should say, great example of nature. Few people realize that the design of this train was based on the kingfisher bird. This bird is known for its speed and almost silent movement from air to water. So, the Shinkansen train's forefront is designed according to kingfisher speak. According to statistics provided by asknature.org, the more streamlined Shinkansen train not only travels more quietly, but also travels 10% faster and uses 15% less electricity. By taking inspiration from Kingfisher Bird, we can save energy. Second example I can give is Michael Phelps swimsuit. As you all know, shark skin inspired swimsuits received a lot of media attention during 2008 Summer Olympic Games. Under an electron microscope, shark skin is made up of countless little skin seeds, which make the water pass by faster. So, Michael Phelps' swimsuit took inspiration from shark in 2008. According to Olympic.org data, while Phelps won 8 gold medals, another American swimmer and competitor of Phelps, Ryan Lochte, won only 2 gold and 2 bronze medals. So, thanks to biomimicry, spotlights were shining on Michael Phelps. That's all I want to say about saving energy. Second advantage is about sustainability. Biomimicry is an approach to innovation that seeks sustainable solutions to human challenges. The goal of biomimicry is to create products, processes, and policies that are well adapted to life. According to Jenny Benius, co-founder of Biomimicry Institute, when we look at what is truly sustainable, the only real model that has worked over long periods of time is the natural world. The nature has already solved many problems which we still try to handle. It should be leader to solve these problems. In modern nature, animals, plants and even microbes are perfect engineers. Inefficiency doesn't last long in nature and there is no such thing as waste. Living organisms are well adapted and have evolved for natural selection. Their solutions can be read by designers, innovators and scientists to find sustainable future solutions. Velcro is a widely known example of biomimicry. It was invented by Swiss engineer George Domestro after he removed birds from his dog and decided to take a closer look at how they worked. 
Today we are using velcros in lots of different areas. It's very basic example, but as you remember, I have mentioned more complex ones. Scientists are still inspired by nature for permanent and sustainable solutions. This bar graph shows us results of prediction of research conducted by Fermanian Business and Economic Institute. The vertical axis represents industries and horizontal axis represents percentages of contribution of biomimicry in 2025. For example, in chemical manufacturing, biomimicry will have 15% contribution in 2025. In transportation equipment manufacturing, biomimicry will have 10% contribution and in construction industry, it will have 5% contribution for sustainable solutions. And this brings me to the end of my presentation. Let me summarize briefly what I have covered today. Biomimicry looks to nature and natural systems in order to solve complex human problems and challenges. In natural world, systems try to reduce energy that they use and they should inspire us for saving energy. Also, since they are well adapted for life, their solutions are sustainable for our world. Did you see any ants that waste in traffic? In nature, zero hours stopped in traffic. But last year, 70 million hours stopped in, stopped in traffic in Netherlands. They have already found the solution of traffic problems, so we have much more to learn from them. For this reason, when you can't find the solution of any problem, please ask nature. There will be a solution in there. Thank you for your attention. For those of you who are interested in, this is my reference list. Would you like to ask any questions? 